Welcome back learners. Today's lesson is about structure and function of cytoskeleton. The word cytoskeleton is made up of two words, cyto and skeleton. Cyto word means cytoplasm or you can say that this cyto word comes from the cytoplasm word. We know that cytoplasm is a thick liquid which is present inside the cell. While the skeleton word means framework. Just like the human body, the skeleton gives the structure or a shape to the body. Similarly, here the skeleton means framework. It means that cytoskeleton is giving a particular shape or um, structure to the cell. The cytoskeleton is made up of three types of filaments that we are going to discuss in this lesson. Cytoskeleton was first discovered in 1990s. And it is present in the cytoplasm as we have already discussed. If you want to know more about cytoplasm, its structure and its function, I will share the link in the upper right corner. You can visit that link. The function of cytoskeleton uh, is that it supports the cells. It gives its shape, also helpful in the cell division. It also organizes the organelles present inside the cell. Let's talk about the three different types of filaments which make the cytoskeleton. Here in this diagram I have drawn these three different types of filaments. The outer brown layer is actually the cell membrane. Just next to the cell membrane here you can see this blue part. It is the microfilament. This part here the central part is the nucleus and around the nucleus in the green color you can see the second filament which is known as microtubules while the third one here in the pink color you can see it is the intermediate filaments so in total microfilaments microtubules and intermediate filaments these three different types of filaments combine together to form the cytoskeleton and in turn the cytoskeleton performs all these functions that we have already discussed let's talk about the structure of these filaments one by one comes towards the microfilaments we know that word micro mean small so microfilaments means that they are small filaments which are made up of actin actin is actually a protein so microfilaments they are made up of actin proteins and these actin proteins, they are actually arranged in helix shape or helical form as you can see that one actin and second actin, they are helically spiraled around each other to make this particular structure which we called microfilament. The microfilament is actually 7 nanometer thick and it is the thinnest filament among these three one. The function of microfilament is that it is involved in cell division, in cell motility, in the cytoplasmic streaming. The cytoplasmic streaming means that inside the cytoplasm we know that different organelles are present. Along with the organelles there are so many nutrients which are present that needs to be traveled from one part of the cytoplasm to the other part of the cytoplasm. With the help of microfilaments that molecules they can travel from one part to other part of the cell. Along with this the other organelles they can also move from one part to another part of the cell this is what we called cytoplasmic streaming and this cytoplasmic streaming is only possible because of this microfilaments along with these functions the microfilaments they are also part of muscle cells in the muscle cells they combine with myosin which is another protein so they both work together in the contraction and relaxation of the muscles if muscle wants to relax or contract actin protein is very important and that actin protein is present in the form of microfilaments so in conclusion microfilaments is very important the second one here we have microtubules again the word comes micro which we know that means small 
but another one tubules come here the tubule words comes from the word tubes we know the tubes are like this cylindrical and from the inside they are hollow just like the tubes the microtubules they are also hollow actually they are made up of tubulin protein tubulin tubules tube these three words they have the same origin so you can see that microtubules they are actually made up of tubulin proteins which is very easy to remember in the tubulin there are two different types of tubulin proteins they combine together to form microtubules one is alpha and the other one is beta tubulin here you can see there i have drawn the microtubules and you can see there are two different colors one is dark green the other one is light green here one part is alpha the other one is beta they are combined together spirally and alternatively as you can see one is beta the other one is alpha then beta alpha so in this form they are combined together to form the microtubules and this part here if you see this part is hollow microtubules are the largest fiber as we know that microfilaments are the smallest or thinnest fiber the microtubules are the largest fiber with the uh, diameter of 23 nanometers and as we have already discussed that microtubules they are hollow from inside which will be beneficial because of its functions let's discuss the functions the microtubules they are present in the flagella and in cilia and because of their presence they allow the cell movement flagella here you can see this part this is flagella it is present in bacteria and it helps in the movement through different spaces similarly this part here it is known as cilia this is also present in some bacteria and it helps in the movement of this particular cell. So in turn the microtubules they are present in the flagella and in cilia and helps in the movement of these cells. Along with this they are present in the spindle fiber and we know that spindle fiber is very important in cell division. The spindle fiber it attaches to the chromosomes at this part. And then separate the chromosome into two parts like this which is very important for the uh, maintenance of chromosome number in the next generation so microtubules they are helpful in cell division along with this because they are hollow so they are very helpful in the transport of different molecules from one part of the cell to another part of the cell here in the green part as i have already told you this part here the green one it is the microtubules as we discussed the transport molecule so if any molecule enters from this part this can move to here here and here because of their hollow structure and we can see that it is present near the nucleus so it will help in the division of chromosomes the third and the last one is the intermediate filament as the name intermediate tells you that it is in between the microfilaments and microtubules in case of size this is the smallest this is the biggest and this is the intermediate in size if we talk about the composition of intermediate filaments the protein which make the filaments is actually concerned to the related function for example uh, the micro uh, the intermediate filaments which are present in the hairs or nail they contains keratin protein Similarly, if these filaments are present in other parts of the body or other parts of the cells, their composition will be different. You can see here the structure. These are made up of different monomers. 
one monomer two monomer three monomer and four monomers depending upon what type of function or which place they are performing that particular function their size as we have already discussed that it is intermediate so their size is from 8 to 12 nanometer in diameter related to their functions they are very important to maintain the shape you can see they are present near the cell membrane so they are very helpful in the maintenance of shape as you can see they are spreading inside the cytoplasm so they are just covering more area in the cytoplasm and just like the roots in the plants which spread in the soil and then combine the soil particles together it keeps the shape of the cell together along with this these intermediate filaments they are also very helpful to bear the tension they gives the tensile strength to the cell and if some kind of external pressure is applied on the cell they are going to bear that external pressure along with this they provide the support because of their proteins and as you can see over here say if you just um, take your hair and then try to pull it you can see they have the that uh, strength and they can bear the tension so because of the presence of intermediate filaments along with this they keep the tissues together for example there is one cell along with this there if there is another cell present here these intermediate filaments they will extend into the other cells like this and in this way they are going to keep cell 1 together with the cell 2 and cell 2 together with cell 3 and so on in this way they are going to keep the tissues together so this was all about the structure and function of cytoskeleton if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and if you have any suggestion for the next topic, you can also tell me that in the comment section. If you need any material or the resources related to biology topics, you can visit the link I have shared in the description box below. And if you like my video, please give it a big thumbs up.